Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. Today I want to go over MixML because I know a lot of you guys are looking to get into character animation and this is kind of like the easiest way to do that without actually animating the character yourself. Um, basically MixML is a free online web interface where you guys can go ahead and check out different characters, different animation styles, um, and you can actually download these characters and import them directly into your projects. So super useful. So let me go ahead and minimize my face here because we're done with the introduction and let me full screen this. So here is the basic interface for Mixamo. And the way it works is you have kind of like two main tabs here. You have your characters tab, which as you guys can see, allows you to select your character. And then you have your animations, which are basically just a bunch of presets that you can select. And then when you go to download this character and import it into Blender, it will literally take all of those keyframes and give you the FBX file, which you'll use to import into Blender. So let's just go ahead and select a random character here. This is what I used for one of my previous tutorials. Um, and she's she's got a really cool design to her, but let's just go ahead and scroll through here and see some other options. This, this person's pretty cool. It looks like an archer. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that and then it'll ask you if you wanna use this character, you say yes. Um, they just wanna make sure so that you can save your work. And then here is the character in the classic T pose as everybody knows. So this is kind of what you get started with. Now you could go ahead and download this character as is, and it'll have a full rig that you can completely customize. But in this case, I wanna show you guys how to apply an animation. So I'm gonna click on our animation tab up here on the top left, and we can scroll through what seems like an infinite amount of different animations. And if you were to click on one of these animations, give that a quick second to load, you can see that your character is now animated. And what's really cool about this is this is completely free. So this is, I realized I clicked on the, the twerking one. Let me let me select something a little more appropriate for this tutorial. <laughs> Let's click on the breakdancing one. All right, this one's cool. So you can see you have your little like little viewport in the um, web browser here. It actually runs pretty quickly. So now this is where you can actually customize everything on the right hand side here. For example, overdrive, character arm space, trim. So you can adjust all these values. The trim is basically like the amount of frames that. Um, that the animation will consist of. And at the bottom here, it does show you, looks like that's 105 frames. Um, and then when you do import this into Blender, you can actually adjust all of these parameters yourself. Let's go ahead and scroll through a few more. There's a lot to choose from. And you can search right here. For example, if you wanted to, to uh, search float, as I've used this one before, this one's a great one. Now this one's more like, more like kind of swimming more or less. But if you guys want to create some really trippy animations, you can use something like this. So let's say we did want to use this, right? But maybe with a different character, we could go ahead and download this. So I'm going to show you guys how to download this and how to import this into Blender. So as you can see, we have everything the way we want it. Maybe we can adjust some of these parameters here. So this is great right here because I realize now there's actually different options depending on the animation you choose. In this case, we can actually adjust the lane so if I wanted to lean her all the way back, now she's like almost sitting on her back, but still floating. So this is actually pretty cool. I like that um, that pose right there. Let's go ahead and test this parameter, movement range. So I think if you increase this, that means she'll kind of like, yeah, it looks like she's reaching her arms out far, farther, but I actually don't want that. I want to keep that kind of at 50 in the middle. And I'm not going to adjust anything else. I think this is perfect. It's 102 frames. So now we want to go ahead and click download. And now it's gonna give you a few options. You wanna make sure you have FBX selected unless you wanna use a different file format. With skin, that means it's gonna actually use the character's skin. I think if you do without skin, it's just the bones. Um, 30 frames per second, that's fine. We can do 24, uh, it doesn't really matter, but you have to make sure you match this in your project uh, settings to make sure everything is correct. Keyframe reduction, I'm not really sure what that is, so I'm not gonna do anything with that and I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Now I'll go ahead and give that a second and while that downloads, it looks like it's pretty much done, I'm gonna open up Blender. So we're gonna open up a completely new Blender project here. I'm just gonna delete the default cube. I'm gonna delete the light. Now I'm gonna go up to the top left, File, Import, FBX, and then you wanna locate in your downloads the FBX file, I believe it is floating. So it usually is gonna give you the file name which is the actual animation. Now I'm gonna click on import FBX. And as you can see, if we zoom in here, we have our character right here. Now we're in solid mode, so you're not gonna see any of the actual textures, but if I switch over to cycles, and I just give our world like a uh, white value, and I go to render, you can see 
everything is properly imported into Blender and we have an entire animated character in Blender in basically less than a minute. Honestly, most of the time that it took was trying to figure out what was the what was the thing I wanted to select, what was the character, and what was the animation. And as you can see, if you scroll up on the timeline here and you drag this up, you can see all of the keyframes, right? What was it, 103? So I'm actually going to make 103 is going to be our ending frame. And I do believe this is a full loop. Let's go ahead and test it out. See what that looks like. I think it does loop. Yeah, it looks like to be a perfect loop. I think most of the animations on Mixamo are. But how great is this, guys? We have a completely textured, animated, and rigged person that you can also completely customize. Let's say that you actually wanted this character to go faster, which you could actually adjust online. I'm just going to select all these keyframes, go to frame one, and I'm press S to scale. And then we'll just we'll stop that at frame 40. Now watch how fast they're going to move now. Obviously, that is completely unrealistic, so I'm going to undo that. I actually think this looks really, really good. So we could just set up like a really easy, quick camera shot of just uh, focusing on our character here. But I'm not going to get into that too much. This is pretty much all you need to know to import your characters into Blender. And then I believe if you click on, I think it's armature and you go to pose mode, it's gonna be hard to see. Pose options, here it is. I think there is a setting down here, viewport display in front, there we go. So you wanna go to viewport display for your bones down here. Sorry, I realized my face is in the way. Let me just minimize that real quick. Um, there is a setting called in front. You wanna click on that and you'll be able to see all your bones. Now, you'll see them moving as we play this animation, right? So you can see that it is a fully rigged character. If you downloaded the character without the animation, you would just have all these bones, I believe, and then you could animate them by hand to practice animation and how to move a, a human character like this. So very, very interesting, very fun to do, and super easy. Um, I, just, I think it's just so, so easy to actually just go and download this. Completely free, cost nothing. Um, but your time. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something um, and let me know if you decide to create anything with Mixamo. It's an incredibly useful and free program for anyone to use and it kind of helps you just break the ice on character animations. Just to, even if you just want to study the way that the bones work. Um, I don't do much animation like this, but I have used Mixamo models before for animation and they're super useful. So guys, if you want to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoyed this style of tutorial and there's more things that you want to see, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what else you would like me to cover in Blender because there's literally infinite things that I could cover. Um, and I do have a running list from people that are subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. If you shoot me a message, I will add it to the list. And at some point in the future, I will try to cover that specific topic if I know enough about it. So guys, have a great day and I will see you in the next tutorial.